This video is brought to you by Boksu. More on them later. Hello friends, it's Leilani. Um, sorry, I know I'm looking like a little disheveled right now. Haven't bothered to change out of my PJs. I got my little star acne patches because I'm getting some stress breakouts. So as y'all know, I'm getting ready to move out of my parents' house here in California and I am moving to Italy. It's still so crazy to say that, like it's not really clicking that I'm moving in a couple of days. It's currently Saturday and I'm leaving on Tuesday and there is so much that needs to get done. So I am really stressed out currently and i also just had one of the worst nights of sleep you guys are not going to believe what happened last night i'm like still trying to process it but basically it's like 1 a.m i'm getting ready to fall asleep and i know this is gonna sound funny but just remember like at the time this actually <laughs> terrified me but i heard a loud ass fart outside my window so i'm in freaking like fight or flight at this point well actually i just froze because i could not move i was so terrified because i knew something was out there i immediately started texting my boyfriend i'm like i'm so scared someone just like ripped ass outside my window someone's out there but he just could not take it seriously and i don't blame him like i know it sounds so funny so eventually though i hear someone knocking on our door and i was like oh nope I'm done. I'm calling my parents right now. So I call my parents and wake them up and my dad goes to the door and it turns out it was our neighbor. So I wake up cause I'm like, hey, what's going on? Like it must be really serious if our neighbor is trying to wake us up at 1 a.m. And y'all, there was a full blown huge ass fire right across the street. Growing up here, like we've had many warnings about wildfires, but luckily we've been blessed enough that we've never had to evacuate. But this fire was right across our street and this fire was was massive like I could see the firefighters and they looked so small compared to the fire and the smoke was just filling the entire sky it was so freaking scary so needless to say I'm feeling a little whack today <laughs> so luckily though everything was okay this morning the fire is completely put out so I just need to get my day started because I'm gonna move in a couple of days <sighs> There's so much to get done, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my suitcase because the goal for today is to fill up at least one. Okay, so we have suitcase number one that I'm gonna work on first. And while I'm packing, I made sure to put on a nice Christmas jazz ambiance. Actually, I have to show you guys because it's so cute. Like, tell me this one isn't adorable. And in my world, the day after Halloween, it's immediately Christmas time. And also look, this one has this little kitten. Girl, are you kidding me? All right, so first I wanna pack up what I will immediately need as soon as I'm in Italy. I'll be needing to pack clothes for autumn transitioning into winter. So I'm mostly gonna be packing up some like sweaters and long pants, just all of my warm clothes. Alrighty friends, so we have made pretty good progress so far. You can see the suitcase behind me is completely full now. I'm gonna continue packing the other suitcase tomorrow. So I might have to shuffle a couple things around, but so far it's all clothing. So I know it's gonna get a little bit more complicated tomorrow once I have to start packing like shoes and bags, which take up more space. But that'll just have to be something that I worry about tomorrow. But in the meantime, I got some packages from Amazon. It's my final Amazon order and I got some Japanese products that I think will be harder to get in Italy, so had to make one last little haul. So 
so it seems i made a mistake i accidentally ordered the essence this is like more of a toner i meant to buy the moisturizer so but anyway i'm feeling really sweaty now so i'm gonna hop in the shower do a quick body rinse because i have plans to meet up with my friends tonight i'm really excited to go over and cook some dinner but really not looking forward to the goodbye so see you guys there Hello friends, so it is now the next day, it is Sunday. The sun has set and it's already evening time, hence the weird lighting. <laughs> you know what, actually I wanna talk to you guys so I'm gonna try to get you situated right over here. Okay, <laughs> sorry, I know that the lighting's not ideal but if I use like the light on my screen, hopefully it'll illuminate me a little bit more. I've just spent the entire day packing. I actually got my second suitcase completely packed. But anyway, I kind of feel bad because I just like randomly left off last night. But as I said, I went over to my friend's house to make dinner we made this amazing salmon rice bowl my friends and i like to cook together a lot so it felt like any other girls night but <laughs> it was getting late and when i finally had to leave it was like instant waterworks <laughs> i was preparing for the goodbyes to be hard but saying goodbye to my friends was so freaking rough i think it kind of shocked all of us like how much we were crying like we were all ugly crying together <laughs> i was saying goodbye to my friends who i have literally known since i was like 10 or 11 since like fifth and sixth grade but luckily i was so busy today with all the packing that it has been quite a good distraction <laughs> and i'm excited now because my sister's coming over for dinner my mom bought a ton of ingredients so we're gonna have a sushi party and a sushi party is like the perfect goodbye dinner that i could have ever asked for with my family so sister will be here any second now, so I gotta finish preparing with my mom. I'm about to prep some tuna mayo, but I think Kona can smell it. Kona! <laughs> I'll give you some. Yeah. Good boy! <laughs> good morning you guys it is officially the last day not gonna lie i am starting to freak out a little bit <laughs> although my nerves are building up i am also just getting really excited as well it's just a lot of mixed emotions as you could imagine but anyway for my last day it is going to be quite busy yet again i do have to finish packing my carry-on and the backpack that i'm going to be bringing on the airplane with me and normally i always bring snacks with me especially on long international flights like this i'm gonna get hungry but that's why i'm so excited that my boxu arrived right on time but if you haven't heard of boxu before they are a premium japanese snack box i'm sure if you guys have been longtime viewers you're already familiar with boxu because i've mentioned them so many times i'm absolutely obsessed with them they work with family businesses all over japan to deliver a new theme of authentic treats every single month and if you sign up with boxu this is the first box that you would get you'll open up and see here that the theme is seasons of japan i absolutely love the booklets that come with each one of these boxes it's a essentially a cultural guide that tells you about the box's theme this month. I also love that you can see which region of Japan that the snacks are from. And y'all, every time I empty this box, I'm always so amazed by how much they can stuff in here. You really have such a wide range of snacks. Actually, I'm gonna have to dig in right now. I was curious about this snack here because it says Kyoto on it. As you guys know, I visited Kyoto earlier this spring. In the pamphlet, it says that this is Kinako Azuki Crunch. So let's go ahead and open it up. Let's give it a go. It's such a nice, delicate flavor and the sweetness doesn't overpower anything. It's just really harmonious with all the other flavors. Mm. Also, you guys know I'm a matcha fanatic. Guess what they have? A matcha stick cake with chocolate chips. Wow, look at the color. Oh my gosh. 
It's so moist. That is so good. I am so excited to bring these snacks with me tomorrow. I'll be munching on these in the airport or on the plane. And I'm really excited to give some to my boyfriend who I'm seeing. We did meet in Japan, so I know that he'll appreciate these a lot as well. <laughs> so if you also want to try out some of these Japanese snacks and support my channel at the same time, go ahead and do me a favor. Click the link down in my description box and use code Leilani and you will get $15 off your first Boxu purchase. A huge thank you again to Boxu and remember to use code Leilani for your discount. All right, now we really got to get moving. I still have not packed any of my jewelry up, so I think that's going to be the first thing that I will tackle. So we've made pretty good progress. I've pretty much finished up packing up all my carry-on stuff, but there is quite a few things that I'm not going to be able to bring to Italy. It is so hard to pack up your entire life into two suitcases and a carry-on. But as I was packing, I realized that I never made a video like actually announcing that I was moving to Italy yet. So I really quickly set up my camera, sat down and filmed that video. So that's the video that's going to go up before you guys see this one. But oh my God, y'all look at my closet. Look how empty it looks. This is so crazy. It's really hitting me and this is starting to feel real now. The feels are really kicking in. Honestly, I do not have time to get sentimental right now because I am supposed to meet up with my sister and her boyfriend tonight for a final goodbye. So yeah, that's the update for now and I'll see you later. Oh my God. I look disheveled. I just said bye to Kiana and Josh and just thanked my parents for letting me stay here. The final night is gonna be rough, <laughs> but I need to rest because tomorrow's gonna be a really busy day. Oh. All right, good night and see you on travel day. <laughs> Today's breakfast. These are all from the Boksu. The Earl Grey cake. This one's the chocolate anpang. And this is the sesame mochi. Last breakfast.